Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm Father Steve Sellers and thank you so much for tuning in to my YouTube channel today for my brief daily message of hope and encouragement and inspiration. And I uh, hope your day's off to a good start. And if, if not, then let's help each other along the way. That's the reason God has placed us here. Uh, to serve one another and to help one another along his path and and that's why I'm here today to give you a little boost down the road uh, And I, I want to talk just briefly today about what we should be doing when everything around us has totally gone crazy And what do we do? Do we sit in isolation? Do we uh, scream and shout and run about? <laughs> what should we do when everyone else is screaming and shouting and running about? And uh, I want to say a few things about that, but first I want to talk about the great song I just played from, uh, it came out in 1968, the first part of 68, it was written by Otis Redding and a guitar player by the name of Steve Cropper, who was a producer for Stax Records and uh, also played uh, pretty good guitar for Booker T and the MGs back in the, the mid-60s. The song is called Sitting on the Dock of the Bay. Uh, this is Otis Redding's signature song in, in a really wonderful soul career that ended way too soon, uh, like uh, so many people's career did uh, back then. Uh, but it's a song, a plaintive song about him moving all the way across the country, leaving his home in Atlanta and winding up uh, sitting on the dock of, of a bay and, uh, uh, on the West Coast, 2,000 miles, 3,000 miles from home. Uh, and he, uh, the story's about a, a restless heart. Uh, and confusion over what to do when the world is going crazy. And things were changing dramatically in 1967. Uh, Otis Redding wound up uh, renting a, a houseboat and toward the end of 1967 uh, wrote this song as he sat in the houseboat and watched the ships sail out and watched them sail back in again. Uh, and he sat on the dock of the bay. Uh, he was pretty desperate then because he said, uh, I ain't got nothing to live for. Looks like nothing's going to come my way. And so he sat and watched. And the story was a massive hit, and it's still being recorded today. Uh, and it has a great message, sitting and watching. Sitting and watching. Uh, that's not original for Otis Redding. It's actually what God wants us to do. Uh, when the world is, uh, is crazy, when things are out of control, the best thing we can do is to be still and wait upon him. Uh, he's still in charge. I, I know it doesn't look like it. You know, it has throughout history. Uh, God has given freedom to humans uh, to be as loving and kind as they ever want to be or to be as mean, rotten, and nasty as they ever wanted to be. Uh, for some reason that's beyond me, God is not uh, forcing us to be his little puppets and making us uh, do exactly what he wants us to do and say what he wants us to say. No, he created us in his own image because he wants us to willingly love him in response to the love and the freedom and the mercy that he gives to us. And we also have the freedom to reject God's love and mercy, which many people are doing. Those who resort to violence and start injuring innocent people uh, and who start to saying and speaking blasphemous things and, and uh, destroying property that doesn't belong to them, we're living in a desperate age, but we always have because God has given humans the freedom to act terrible, terribly if they want to, uh, or act as kind and compassionate as they want to. Uh, choose compassion. It, uh, it, it goes much better for you and for those around you. Uh, and I was going to read just a little passage in Scripture to sum, sum this point up, which is very simple. When things go crazy, be still and know that the Lord is God. When things go crazy, turn to Him first. Don't join in the chaos. Don't join in the confusion. Turn to God first and join Him, for He's always already with you and is always with you. I was going to read from uh, Psalm uh, 46 today, which is my favorite psalm because it has my favorite psalm verse in it. And it starts out simply by saying, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth be moved and the mountains fall into the depths of the sea, though the waters rage and foam, and the mountains quake and quit their singing. We will not fear, for God is with us. The Lord of hosts is with us. And it says at the, at the end of this very short psalm, 
The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see the works of the Lord, the desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars to cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. And then this is verse 10. This is my favorite verse in scripture. Harpu udiru ki ki Elohim. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The Lord of hosts is with us. So when things go crazy and people are running around and shouting and uh, saying things that are harmful and injurious, don't, don't just uh, live in fear. Look up, turn to the Lord and be still. Turn to him and know that he's still God. He's still in charge. Everyone will have to give an accounting someday for the way they act, good or bad. Choose good, <laughs> choose good. Choose compassion, choose kindness, no matter what. And ask the Lord to help you with that. He's right there with you. I hope you have a great day today.